Hello my fellow foliage fanatics and welcome back to my channel. My friends call me Finchy and if it's not inherently obvious by what I'm sitting in front of, we're going to be talking about my red stud today. It has very, it's coming up on the two month birthday, I guess, of my lovely lady here. And I was trying to wait until the two month mark, but I'm really excited and there's something really cute in there and also something that I don't remember if I put there or if it was in the moss or what so I thought I need to go look at that video and when I saw what it looked like a month ago why wait another couple days or whatever it, it's beautiful now let's look at it now also it's rainbow hour it's a rainbow o'clock in my room right now and I've actually been trying to wait for it to not be sitting like right in my face right here but I feel like the unicorn from the gum I used to have as a child. Today is February 2nd? 3rd? I'm not really sure. And I planned, I made it December 12th, which I did a video on. And then I planted all the plants in like a couple days later, like I let it just like sit, make sure that it wasn't gonna get like moldy and stuff and it did it, so I put plants in it, and on the 17th of December, or the 16th of December, I'm really bad at dates. All, when you don't leave the house much, they all kind of bleed together. <laughs> and then it is now February, so we're coming up, we're like a little bit shy of two weeks away from two months, so I'll say like six weeks. Long-winded way to say six weeks of having this cabinet set up. And the first thing I wanna say about it is my kids love it. Well. My youngest, my two-year-old loves it. He always comes in here. If there's little kid handprints all over it, that is why. He he do, he loves it. He loves the little dudes that I put in there. I actually gave him one out of it. I don't know where it ended up, but I let him have one of them. They are the little spirit guys from Spirited Away. That's something that I have added. I have not done anything else to this cabinet. I have not added anything. I've not taken anything out. All I've done is water it. And I water it. If it's really dry, I use like this first. And then I will use this, especially up at the top because that's where it like dries out the most. And then that's it basically. And it has not leaked. It did, when I did a little, a whole lot of water once it came out the bottom right here around where the magnets sit. But other than that, has not leaked or anything. So, I'm going to show you the stuff that I've added, because it's really only one thing, and then some of the plants inside, and then I have three plants that I want to just go ahead and put in. I only have a little bit of wire too, but this is all I have left. It's like one singular piece, and I have some plants that I need to pin in, or pin up, I guess, a little bit and these three little ones that I've selected to add in. So I'm really excited. I don't know if I should turn the light on or off to show you. And also I have to move these plants to make the doors stay open. Otherwise they just push them back open. Sophia, can you hold that for me? Thank you. Oh, when I made the cabinet, I did not weatherproof it, weather strip it, cause I'm lazy and I didn't want to take it all the way apart. So I got this magnet stuff from my best friend and I have whoop, and I have put it on the doors and as you can see it stays very very humid in there. It is 99 with the touching the moss. I'm sure it's not 99 like in the air but also a lot of the moss is starting to come back to life which is cool. It's just there's just the tiniest little hint of green in places. And here's my little Spirited Away friends. These were like eight bucks on Amazon and they were worth every penny. They glow at night for a little while, actually quite a while. And I just love them so much, they're so cute. Here's like an overview. Here's all the Hoya, my little man-made shelf here, which does a good job of like shading out down here, which is what I wanted. The chalkboard paint has held up fine and only one time did it like leak just the tiniest bit right here but I didn't like seal this part it's just foam so like 
makes sense but you can see she's very very lush down here i've taken nothing out so i think there are, are some leaves i probably need to pull out we only had a little i think i pulled out like one polyner leaf actually and the big solid yellow of this obviously didn't make it but everything else i have not pulled out and i think this is actually probably yellowing because it's like literally like so, so close to the light Look how stinking cute. So here's the Hoyas up here. And I think I wanna add more Hoya. Like I just wanna put like a whole bunch of, maybe like single piece cuttings of different varieties just all around here. I think that would be really cool. But here's the reverted strawberry shake. It's new leaf. There's Polymura. Some grass. This is a piece of Rio or cream stripe. I don't remember what that is, but Mikan's probably. Here's my princess. I said it was gonna get too much light, and she does in fact get too much light. <laughs> but it's still gonna live there. Some Polynera. Um, I forget already. Variegated heart leaf. Look how beautiful. Even if you put the lower green are the more green pieces with good light, they just come right back. Uh, what is that, a painted lady or something? I don't remember. Polynera. Edward's new leaf, look at this. Baby Edward leaf, it's so pretty. This leaf is so perfect and beautiful. And this new one looks really nice too. This is a piece of that uh, Syngonium I got at the swap. I don't remember if I put this in as a piece or a chunk or what, but that's what that is. And I don't, I can't tell these velvet plants apart, so I like, I know that there's like Milano, Splendid, and Glorious in here, but I couldn't tell you which one is which. Like, what are you? You. This feels so thick. This little jewel orchid, she's living his best life. Florida Ghost, looking so cute. I don't even know what this is. Just a green plant. My, this is probably one of the only ones that isn't doing super amazing in here, but it's not dead. It's just like, it hasn't like flourished as much as the other one. A lot down here. There's probably stuff I can pull out. Yeah, see, let's pull that out. Did this do anything? Yeah, I guess, because I can't pull it out. Bunch of random syngoniums. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that art leaf is. There's just like a bushel of them down here. Oh my gosh, there's another one. I don't even know all of the things that are down here. There's also a mystery plant that I don't remember putting in there. And that's gonna be this guy. What the heck is this? Obviously it's an alocasia. Where did it come from? <laughs> The only alocasia that I could have put in here would have been a fried egg. And this is not like a green fried egg. This is not that. So what the heck? What is this and where did it come from? Also, we have regular substatum, And then this is the variegated one from my arid, arid market order that lived in a box for a long time. This is just one of the pieces. I cut it all up. Isn't that insane? It, I, that is crazy. If I didn't have that plant and I saw this leaf, I'd be I'd add this plant to my wish list. But I have it, so it's is we already like add it, check it off. That's incredible. <laughs> also, this little Pearl Marks fantasy. This piece of chia pins. Everything is doing really, really good. That I don't know if this has put out a new leaf yet, but it's still got the original one. And this one looks just so beautiful. It was so dark and healthy. <laughs> what are you? It's a mystery. This is still alive? Yeah, this runner is still alive. Okay, <laughs> you can stay. There's a beautiful little pink flick, I think. 
It's so nice. There's another little jewel orchid. There's definitely some campo in here too. Overall, it's just doing it so good. I do need to put some more plants in it though. I feel like it's still just a little bit barren. I am jonesing to put a Syngonium Aria in here and ever since mine put out this incredible leaf, I have just been wanting to take it apart and cut it and chop it up and put it in here so bad. But I also love the size of it and like how big it's getting and how quickly. And I, I just, this work of art of a leaf, I would put it in there, but then like, I can't carry it around with me, so we can't do that. And then I remembered, I have Bianca's plants. So I went into the Bianca box and I pulled out a Syngonium Aria, which looks very much like the, the one that she gave me. They are so beautiful side by side. So I'm just going to use this one and let it grow and then like reprop and you know take back a piece. It's just gonna we're just gonna put grow it in here for a little while, Bianca. It'll be alright. I'm borrowing it. <laughs> I really <laughs> look at this leaf. Yeah. I think Aria is turning coming to be my favorite Syngonium. I think that's happening. Oh my gosh. And then I also grabbed two pieces of Fabio, which I have this little tiny one, which I think is actually from Hannah. And then here's a piece of Fabio. So I'm gonna put these students three Syngonium into this cabinet. And I do have plans to do a trade for some Hoya here soon, hopefully. Kelly, sometime in, I think she said March, but I'm in no rush, just whenever. I wanna put a bunch of random single pieces of Hoya and just use it like a prop box and let it be and let it just be the Hoya house because I think they like it down there. I also have a ton of Hoya already propped and going in the tent. I'm just lazy and I don't have a whole lot of wire so we're just gonna do these three little guys. Okay probably gonna end up taking the, the next leaf that Edward grows in here I'm probably gonna take a cutting of it too. Typically this, these are just gonna be prop boxes. I don't really cut anything out of the other one very often unless somebody wants heart leaf that's where I usually cut it from. This one I could probably cut heart leaf from too. <laughs> Maybe not yet. It's still got a little bit of growing to do. I was really hoping that this strawberry shake would re magically decide to be colorful again. Here's our Syngonium elbow. She's got a lot of roots. I'm gonna pin you in somewhere and you're just gonna live your best this way. Because I need more syngoniums in here. Yes, upside down syngonium. I still really wanna grow a plant upside down. It's not a syngonium. I don't think it would appreciate it. And then, here's our second little piece. Ooh. It was, it had stratum in the bottom, so I just made a bigger mess. A bigger, bigger mess. I wanna just put like a million syngonium right here. It would look so good. I want to put some micans in there too because I'm literally, my micans are literally right here and it's just like a wild child. Oh, okay, that's some stab and leaf is so pretty. I have this guy. I'm obsessed. Uh, I wonder if my son will notice that there's more plants in here. This one is like this huge thing. I really don't want to take it apart. Take it apart a little bit. I will have to order more wire and when I get it, we'll add some more plants because I think I need to fill this little ledge right here with syngonium. I do. I think I think that that should happen. But I'm almost out of wire. I think I have just enough to do what I wanted to do. 
which is why I only picked three plants. Uh, I can't believe I finally went through an entire thing of floral wire. Feels like I should get a, like an achievement, like an Xbox achievement. Like, you did it. I also have to water it. This can, especially the top, it's very, very dry. The top gets dry very fast, which I think is why Maybe I could like, I don't know, put the other side of the shield on the light or something. I don't know. I just think that those solid green hoy up there don't, don't enjoy that light as much as the ones with variegation and stuff. Sunrise up, cause it is flying up, or flying out. There's like a gigantic root too. You're going the wrong way. There, go that way. And unfortunately, I am out of <laughs> floral wire. That is the last piece. Here's some micans. I just literally took this cutting right now. And I'm gonna put it right in the front. Here's our after. Not much has changed. I do see a leaf I need to pull out though. We have another leaf. Here are our new friends that we added. I think that they will be very happy in here. Just need to give it a good water. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. I love this cabinet so much. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I, my trash bag method, liner method worked amazing. It's the second time I've done it, so I was comfortable trying it again. And also the uh, magnet strip. The magnet strip has made a world of a difference. Before the magnet strip, I was watering it probably every three days, and now I can go almost a week. Like, I haven't watered this in a week. So, and it wasn't even like, bone dry. I was just like, okay girl, it's time to water me. So 10 out of 10 recommend. I would absolutely, like, I cannot do it. Make one. It's amazing. I love it so much. My kids love it so much. Even my husband sends pictures to people and shows off my cabinets and stuff because it is it, literally living art. It's so beautiful. So much pride. I'm obsessed with it. And I'm, I like it even more now that I doesn't sing any more inside of it. Like, and also in the same stroke, I didn't have to butcher my baby. I love this plant so much. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I really loved sharing my red stick cabinet with you. I really hope I can inspire somebody to make the cabinet of their planty dreams because the amount of dopamine or serotonin or just good feels I get from this every day is immeasurable and it was worth every ounce of sticking moss into foam for hours. I can hear my human propagation stirring. So that is a cue, it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Leave me a comment with some Hoya I should get and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Plants. I love every kind of plants. I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't get on every plants.